apologize for the cramped quarters, but uh, because the, the meeting was on such late notice, we had a very difficult time finding a, a, an available location for this. Um, at this time, uh, Cindy will be called the roll. Curator Covington? Yes. Curator Pep? Yes. Curator Graham? Present. Curator Henriksen? Here. Curator Phillips? Here. Curator Snowden? Here. Curator Steelman? Present. Curator Stewart? Here. Okay. You have all my respect. Thank you. Um, I know uh, there's been a lot of uh, news around this meeting. The one thing that I would ask is, is I would ask that uh, everyone uh, please be respectful uh, of each other. Um, and I, for one, am shutting off my cell phone. I think this is a meeting that uh, deserves the attention, the close attention of everyone. And I, my plan is to listen and uh, I'm not going to be diverted by text messaging or whatever. So uh, that, is, that is something that is up to each individual, but that is what I do. Uh, this is the uh, the open portion of the meeting. Uh, I would ask uh, President Wolf. I think President Wolf uh, has asked to speak. May I? There's a point of information before he speaks. Um, just inform you that a few minutes ago I got a call uh, from Mike Middleton. It's, it's very difficult to hear you. Could you speak into my place? Yes, I will, David. Uh, Thank you. About five minutes ago, uh, a call from Mike Middleton indicating that uh, Jonathan Butler's father is in town and uh, is willing to come speak uh, to, he's not with his son, uh, but he's willing to come speak to the board uh, at this moment. So, I, I announced that before Tim starts into anything, he could probably be here in 10 minutes if the board chose to hear him. Well, I, I will defer to the board. I would uh, very <coughs> much uh, like to visit with Mr. Butler, uh, but uh, I think there's not any objection. Uh, uh, we will, uh, whoever is in contact with uh, Mr. Butler, if, uh, they would contact him and tell him, ask him if he could come over, and then then we can uh, we can visit with him. Uh, I would uh, I would suggest since uh, uh, that is well we'll we'll look at that when we get to that. Uh, I believe the president has the floor now. And, uh, Do you have any interest in having Mr. Butler visit before he speak? I'd like to speak, and then I'd be happy to visit. Him. All right, for sure. If you speak, and I won't be present, so I'm going to call this uh, I said I would. So, good morning. Uh, thank you for coming today. Uh, I am resigning as president of the University of Missouri System today. It, it, it's very difficult to hear if you uh, speak to the mic, that would be great. Yeah, I can. Uh, I can't move this mic, but I'll just lean closer. Uh, David, can you hear me now? How about now, David? Is that better? Can you hear me, David?
Administrator Stewart. Is there uh, any meeting that should be done to connect this up? That's in the room, I mean, are they to help? There you go, is there a way that we can increase the volume on this that might help? Dave? All right, that's it. Okay. 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 Yeah, that's a good idea. Hey David, can you hear me now? We've turned up the volume as well. How's that, David? Thank you. Go ahead. Okay. Again, thanks for coming in. Uh, as I said earlier, I'm uh, repeating myself so that Curator Stewart can help me. I'm resigning as president of the University of Missouri System. My motivation in making this decision comes from love. I love MU, Columbia, where I grew up, the state of Missouri. I thought, prayed about this decision, it's the right thing to do. The response to this announcement, I'm sure, ranges from joy for some to anger to others, and that's why we're here today. So let me speak to why this is so important at this time. To our students, from concerned students 1950, to our grad students, football players and other students, the frustration and anger that I see is clear, real, and I don't doubt it for a second. To the faculty and staff who have expressed their anger, their frustration, it too is real. To my friends and my supporters that have been so gracious and have sent so many emails and texts and calls of support, I understand that you might be frustrated as well. So the question really is, is why did we get to this very difficult situation? It is my belief we stopped listening to each other. We didn't respond or react. We got frustrated with each other and we forced individuals like Jonathan Butler to take immediate action or unusual steps to affect change. This is not, I repeat not, the way change should come about. Change comes from listening, learning, caring, and conversation. We have to respect each other enough to stop yelling at each other and start listening and quit intimidating each other through either our role or whatever means that we decide to use. Unfortunately, this has not happened, and that is why I stand before you today, and I take full responsibility for this frustration, and I take full responsibility for the inaction that has occurred. I'd ask everybody, from students to faculty to staff, to my friends, everybody, 
use my resignation to heal and start talking again, to make the changes necessary, and let's focus on changing what we can change today and in the future, not what we can't change, which is what happened in the past. I truly love everybody here in the great institution, and my decision to resign comes out of love, not hate. I'd like to read some scripture that's given me strength. Uh, I hope it provides you with some strength as well as we think about what's next. I have to also give credit to my daughter reminding me of the scripture. Psalm 46.1 God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. We need to use my resignation. Please, please use his resignation to heal, not to hate. And let's move forward together for a brighter tomorrow. God bless all of you, and I thank you for this wonderful opportunity to invite the University of Missouri system. Thank you.